welcome back to the Winning Edge Talks podcast. With me, Vishwanath, your host. I'm a sports mental conditioning coach, counselor, blogger, and podcaster. C.S. Santosh, battling fit for another race. In this episode, I bring to you an inspirational story of C.S. Santosh, the dirt track bike racer who is fighting fit to face the Dakar Challenge one more time in 2024. Have we seen the last of Santosh? Will he race again? Only time will tell. But let's get to the heart of this incredible story. Cricket hawks all the limelight in India and a cricketer is always in the news. Rishabh Pant's road accident and his recovery is the most talked about thing in Indian sports today. That's the way it is. We had almost forgotten about C.S. Santosh, the off-road bike racer, until this article appeared in Times of India on January 7, 2023. The article that spoke about his rehab and his future goals. I have been following news reports on C.S. Santosh since his crash in the Dakar Rally in 2021. And the memories of what I had read flashed across my mind while reading this article. First, let me introduce to you C.S. Santosh. Chunchun Guppe Shiv Shankar Santosh is an off-road bike racer. He is from Bengaluru in Karnataka, who takes part in every type of off-road and enduro bike race, like the rally raid, motocross and supercross. For more than a decade, he has participated in many national and international off-road bike races. He has won many races or entered the final stage on a, on a number of occasions. There is no event in India that he hasn't won. Such is the legacy he has set that he is regarded as the best ever in off-road bike racing in India. He was awarded the Motorsport Man of the Year in 2015 and the FM SCI Motorsport Man of the Year in 2016. C.S. Santosh has driven in seven Dakar bike rallies and completed it thrice, which in itself is a huge achievement. The Hindu reports, when P.V. Sindhu won the Badminton World Championship, the entire country cheered for her. She has been honored with the Arjuna Award, Padma Shri and Rajiv Gandhi Kail Ratna Award. She is in the top five in India when it comes to earnings from brand endorsements. Santosh too has sponsors, but his earnings are nowhere near that of PV Sindhu. Their journeys in sports began around the same time. 16 years later, both are iconic figures for, for their fans. The difference is that Sindhu is now a national hero, while Santosh, who began as a lone wolf, continues to be one. Though the journey of C.S. Santosh has been as meteoric as that of P.B. Sindhu, the rewards have not been the same as I just stated. For Santosh, biking is passion and a way of life. He says, racing is everything, the very pulse of his life. This is the story of off-road bike racing in India, a sport that is fueled entirely by passion and quest for glory. No national honor, no prize money to speak of. Despite this, enthusiasm is on the rise just for the thrills. Everyone in the circuit is in awe of Santosh, who has almost single-handedly 
raise the profile of bikers in the country. He is a biker everyone wants to emulate. Earlier, youngsters would be satisfied competing in local events and being a hero in the neighborhood. Nowadays, several are looking at local events as merely as stepping stones to the car. Motocross is one of the most exciting racing sports around. Riders will be able to put their skills to the test, performing accelerating risky maneuvers on challenging courses. But the sport is riddled with risks and fraught with dangers. Motocross can be dangerous when traveling at high speeds. There is a chance that riders will be hurt in an accident. The riders may fall off the bike while traveling at high speed. It's also possible that they might lose control of the bike, causing them to wear off the course. For example, you could hit a built-up bump in the track, which can cause your suspension to be imbalanced and kick you unexpectedly off your ride. A dirt bike is very heavy. Most bikes weighs over 200 pounds. If the bike hits you, it will be a painful experience. Now, a few words on the Dakar Rally, which is one of the toughest off-road rallies in the world. This is the acid test for any off-road biker. The ultimate test to showcase their skills and prove their mental strength, courage, and endurance. The Dakar, which falls in the rally raid category, is a two week long event in which bikers travel around 8,500 kilometers totally. Each day they are expected to travel hundreds of kilometers, riding in speeds close to 140 kilometers per hour. They have to ride across vast stretches of sand dunes, terrains, mud, slopes rocks, camel grass, and even uneven tracks. The last three Dakar races have been held in the deserts of Saudi Arabia and the 2023 rally is also expected to be held there. The rally is physically and mentally challenging to the riders. Every motocross rider sees the Dakar with awe and respect. The Dakar Rally is also conducted for other categories like for cars, trucks, UTVs and classic cars. Cars that are manufactured before the year 2000. CS Santosh first took part in the Dakar Rally in 2015 and completed it, let alone winning the race. This in itself was a huge achievement. He was the first Indian to complete the race ever since he has been a permanent feature at the Dakars representing the Hero Motocorp group. During the year 2021 at the Dakars, tragedy struck for Santosh. Riding with the Hero Motocorp team, when he was in the stage 4 of the race, travelling at a speed of 140 km per hour, he hit a rock that was of the color of the sand and concealed well within the sand. He was thrown off. Then he fell down and fell unconscious. It was a head injury. One of the participants, Paul Sparings, found him unconscious. Santosh had no heartbeat and no pulse. Paul Sparings soon administered the CPR the cardio-pulmonary resuscitation on him. His heart started beating once more and he came out from the jaws of death. A helicopter arrived with a medics team and he was airlifted to a nearby hospital for treatment. After the initial treatment, he was airlifted to his home city, Bangalore in India. As a result of the head injury, he lost his memory and could not recognize anyone. He was diagnosed of uh, diplopia or double vision. 
his balance was affected. He couldn't sit, stand or walk. His left arm didn't seem to work anymore. He suffered from memory loss. He couldn't recollect the crash or the events leading up to it. He didn't know who he was. He couldn't recognize other faces. He was depressed and put on medication. But he started responding to the treatment. During the whole rehab program that followed, after Bangalore initially, he was taken to Switzerland, Austria and Italy. He braved the storm and came out strong. After eight months since the crash, he was on his bike once again, but he had to begin from the scratch, getting to know how to ride the bike, getting his balance right. It was only then he was allowed to ride the bike in traffic, getting to know his automatic reactions to the varying conditions and his responses based on his judgments and decision making. Santosh was known to be mentally tough as a biker. He was fearless and courageous. How else can you explain his achievements having raced across the globe in tough, challenging and dangerous conditions? It was as if he had conquered fear. But the crash at Dakar changed all this. After the crash, more than physically, the inner battle to rediscover himself was a huge mountain to climb for Santosh. He was no stranger to accidents. In the year 2013, a fire accident he suffered during a race with third degree burns put him off the track and the recovery period that followed kept him out of his racing till the end of that year. But the Dakar 2021 accident rattled him. Sancho says, I have broken many bones and breaking bones is a lot of pain, which I could deal with and was always strong about it. But the fact that I hit my head, that changed me as to who I was as a person. This is something I am trying to deal with even today. Santosh considers himself lucky to be alive. He says that the fact that he survived was not for excellence but for survival itself. Such was the fight between life and death. But he plans to go back to the Dakar in 2024 simply because it is not a race for him but a part of his life. He says for him to get there he has to do two more world championships. He says he wants to be there one more time not for any other thing but to reinvent himself as the race exposes the very fabric of who you are. Competitive sports are all about excelling under pressure. Talk of any sport, be it a solo sport or a team sport, the pressure on the athletes to win the trophy will be enormous. Ask an Indian cricket team before the start of the Cricket World Cup or the Brazilian team before the Football World Cup, they will tell you what pressure is all about. If they lose, they may receive some ridicule and flack from everyone. But at the end of the day, they are still alive, aren't they? Every team thinks of winning and winning alone. Like the famous coach Vince Lombardi once said, Winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. But not every athlete or a team thinks about the risks involved, the threat to their life and minor things. But adventure sports and toughest races of the world are not about winning. It's finishing the race under grueling conditions and coming out alive and unscathed. The participants at different situations will be wishing they came out alive to see their near and dear ones and complete their unfinished business in life. At some stage, it will always be 
a fight to survive. These dangerous sports can cause physical harm, permanent disability and even death in many cases. Death is staring at you every moment. They are aware of the risk but they do it for the thrill and adrenaline it gives them. At some point of time, these races become more mental than physical. This brings to the fore the importance of mind in all human endeavors, especially when challenged and threatened. Let's all wish CS Santosh recovers fully, rediscovers himself and will be ready to race on the slopes and dunes of the Dakar 2024 rally. I thank redbull.com, Wikipedia, DW, Rev, Motorsport, YouTube and the Hindu for the inputs I derived for this episode. Dear listener, don't forget to visit my website www.winning E-D-G-E-C-O-N-S-U-L-T-I-N-G dot I-N. Bye for now. We'll catch up with you soon.